All right, morning time is bacon and egg time. And I'm just gonna fry up a quick breakfast here, and I mean quick, because they call it Yellow Jacket Campground, and they call it that for a reason. And if I know anything about wasps, it's they're gonna love this bacon. But uh, we'll cook this up quick, then uh, do our exploring for the day, and just because we are camping, does not mean we're going to be filthy, nasty, stinking, disgusting, dirty messes by the end of it all. Because this is also a honeymoon. <laughs> so, today, rigging up the shower setup out here. I might just go jump right in the lake, because I'm not that shy. Um, but, Jess kind of likes a little more privacy. So, we'll set her up a shower here. And if it's too cold, I'll make a shower for myself. But, uh, game plan for today, then hopefully steak for dinner. And, uh, stay tuned for all that. So shower time, I was going to start hauling water up from that little creek fireplace, but that creek just fills into this lake. So we drove right down. I'm just gonna fill up uh, so we can each have a nice large shower fill up uh, a couple of these Rubbermaid, imitation Rubbermaid uh, tubs, and uh, we'll be good to go in a bit. It's uh, too many people around, uh, so I'm not going to jump in there and, and wash up. It's, uh, it, you guys don't want to see that, but uh, here we go. Take a few scoops. Hi everybody, here is this outlandishly convoluted modesty chamber uh, that we've, uh, I'm the one responsible for this monstrosity. Anyhow, um, the main plan was originally, I had one of these set up in, uh, in my tent before, and I just used that pump and a garden hose on the end of it. But for whatever reason, I brought a different hose. This has a lot more restriction in it, and uh, so I had to, Basically, I'm using this to prime this Coleman bag shower. And uh, turns on and off. It's, uh, it could be worse, right? It's, it's good for now. As the trip goes on, I'm going to upgrade this hose to something less restrictive. And then I'll just be able to use the pump to, uh, to supply the water. But yeah, this is all, uh, all water from the creek there and I got it running off a power inverter in the in the truck so it's uh, what we got for now and it's gonna be nice to have a good old-fashioned shower in the forest a summer storm has just rolled through and we're back hunkering down in the screen tent here it really does a good job of keeping the water out even if I don't have the panels on the sides. What seems to happen is that uh, the water just, you know, forms a mesh and beads down this uh, the screen. You get a little bit of splashing, but uh, overall, it's, it's quite the good setup. Sets up quick. I'm, I'm very glad we picked this thing up. It's, uh, 
one of the best camping purchases I've made in a while. So we're gonna hunker down here, wait for this storm to blow over, and start a little bit of dinner. So thanks for uh, following along. Uh, and we're gonna be moving out of this campsite. This is our third night here. Uh, after this, we are bound for Vancouver Island, or as I like to call it, Fire Ban Island. I know. So we'll see how we can make do with that and what exactly we can do. But uh, uh, next stop is dinner, hopefully. All right, guys. Uh, we did have a bit of a thunderstorm here. Looks like it's blown over, so it's time to start dinner. And uh, these couple of contraptions here, just a two burner camp stove over there on this portable grill. If it actually did storm all night, I'd be able to put this in that uh, screen tent I picked up. But anyway, first things first is a couple of corns. I want to throw these right on the grill in the husks. Just let them steam on low heat. And once those are done, we're gonna work on some steaks and we're gonna be doing a little bit of a pasta thing tonight. Uh, angel hair, uh, garlic, and uh, boiled pasta. So it's a very simple recipe. Uh, I've modified it for camping a little bit so it's easier to do. And uh, yeah, everything's going good here. Thanks for following along. And uh, we're gonna eat in a bit. Oh, hey everyone. Um, I'm on the other side now and I'm doing the pasta. This is uh, oil and garlic pasta. What I'm doing here is I've got some water ready to put in these uh, angel hair nests uh, for the pasta in there. On the other side is where the sauce is gonna develop. What I've got is uh, olive oil, some uh, red chili peppers, and some uh, minced garlic. And we're gonna let that slowly simmer, really not too hot. And when it all comes together, I'm gonna to add some, you know, salt, pepper, a little bit of lemon juice, and that's just an amazing pasta. So we're gonna do that. Uh, the corns are still cooking over there, and then I'm gonna throw the steaks on, and uh, my beautiful wife keeps asking if there's anything she can help with, but this is pretty much just a, you know, it, it's a one person type of thing when you got uh, the two burners everywhere and you're trying to coordinate everything. So. I think nothing should end up burned. The corn is gonna be done. Well, we're getting way too into this for a camping meal, but uh, stay tuned. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a good meal and then we're gonna hunker down. Hey guys, beautiful wife has fallen asleep. As she does. Uh, it's been a long, stressful year for her. Uh, first year teaching, etc. But uh, I am still making myself a steak because now, I might make two for myself, I don't know. No, I'll save her one. Anyway, uh, we got water boiling. I'm gonna do a little bit of pasta here. Oil and garlic pasta, what I do is I saute the uh, olive oil, garlic, some uh, red chili peppers in there, red uh, crushed chilies, whatever you call them. Um, when that is done, I dump it in there uh, with the pasta. Give it some lemon juice. Oh my, salt and pepper. That, it almost tastes like meat when you eat it. There's just such a, a flavor to it. Uh, my corn on the cob is just about done. I'll put that off to the side. I'll work on this stuff to get it uh, ready. And then I'll throw a, oh geez, there's moths everywhere, look at this. That's what happens when you uh, use a lantern at night in moth country. Anyway, uh, here we go. Hey, hey. The corn, I think, is done. I like to cook it right in the husk. It gets it steamed on the inside and it gives me a handle to eat it. And we're gonna get this grill screaming hot with the steak. Hey guys. Um, <clears throat> Getting ready to throw the steak on. Getting her screaming hot, the way I like it. And uh, I season mine normally with just salt and pepper, but I found this pretty good uh, steak spice. Uh, it's called Spike. I'm gonna 
adjust it liberally on both sides. You know, I'm actually kind of wondering where where my uh, steak knife is. <laughs> At any rate, I do have a pretty sharp knife that uh, I can't find. But I like this guy to be medium rare or rare one or the other. Corn staying warm down there. And uh, fire ban is coming tomorrow in this place. So, we got a little uh, plan in order. And it's also good to have this and the lantern and everything else we have with us because when the fire bans come, you can't do any sort of camping like this. Um, I normally like to rely just on the fire, but in this case, nope, nope, the fire ban. You're eating sandwiches like I did last night. But anyway, I'm going to let this uh, cook. And this is going to be great. Okay, guys, uh, I got it finally finished here. Sorry, it was pretty hard to try and film it and cook it but uh, this is what we're looking at for dinner angel hair pasta um, oil and garlic uh, with uh, seasoned steak and a beautifully buttery cob of corn cooked on the fire so I'm gonna hunker down here by the fire and eat this and then coil up with my beautiful wife if she's still awake which I doubt but we will see. Mm. Nothing better. I normally like paper plates because I can burn them in the fire. But when you got soggy food, you'll see right through it. Anyhow. Nothing quite beats that steak spice. It's called spike. You can find it anyway. I've only seen it in Western Canada, but. And corn is in season two. It's not that old Mexican cow corn. This is actually good sweet corn. Delish. Guys, I wish you were here. This is, uh, I got more food than I can eat. Anyway, I'm gonna coil up pretty soon. And uh, thanks for watching this strange video. We made a shower, etc. But uh, we're heading out to the coast tomorrow few stops in between probably but we got a good three weeks of this uh, and my wife beautiful wife has been a great sport but followers mm -hmm. we'll see you on the next video